Sometimes, it's nice to dress up a photo, especially a fairly average looking photo that you'd like to use for a particular purpose. Photoshop Elements provides a convenient way to apply unique frame effects and textures to photos without the need to be a Photoshop expert. Now I'm beginning this video with this image that was shot of the Golden Gate Bridge and I'm working in the quick edit mode right now. Now down here at the bottom in the lower right corner you'll see that we have buttons for effects, textures, and frames. So I'm going to start by clicking on the effects category. You'll see that it's going to generate automatic thumbnails of the image that you have open. So you can use the scroll bar if necessary to view all of the different effects that are available. For example, we can click on Vintage and that's going to apply that effect. And you can see this gives you a little bit of a retro effect. And if you decide that you just want to go back to your original, you can come up here in the upper right hand corner and click on this Reset Image button. So when I do that, I go back to the original. Although you don't have to reset the image in order to apply a different effect. So for example, if I apply the Cross Process effect, which gives me a nice looking image here. I can always come over here and click on the lithograph effect and it's simply going to overwrite the previous one. So I think I'll come up here and choose the toy camera effect and that gives it another nice retro effect as you can see. And then I'm going to move over to the textures category. So I'm going to click on the textures button. This is showing me a number of different textures that can be applied to my image. So for example, this one here is the sunburst texture. So I'll go ahead and click on that. If you want to try something different, you can click on this texture here, which is called Blue Grid. I'm going to scroll way up here to the top and apply the Cracked Paint texture. And when I do that, we can see that we get a nice looking texture that's applied on top of our image. Now the final option here is frames, so I'll go ahead and click on that category and you'll see that there's a number of different frames available and depending on the subject matter you can choose different options. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on the basic black frame and that's just going to apply a very standard basic frame to my image. Now the other thing I'll point out when you do this, you'll notice that we have the handles around every corner and every side of this image and that's to allow you to crop the image within the frame that you've applied. So if I grab one of these corner handles, you can see that I can drag and I can scale this image. And then if you click in the middle here, you can reposition the image within the frame at the newly cropped size. So I think I'll go right about there. And you can also use this slider that will also scale the image up or down depending on what you're looking for. Now if you want to exit out of this without applying the crop, you can click on this button here to cancel the current operation. But I'm pretty happy with this crop, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the check mark button to apply that operation. As you can see, Photoshop Elements provides an easy way to apply frames, effects, and textures to your photos.